Hey guys, it's me, 20 back again. Today's gonna be a full review on the new Classic Controller Pro, guys. Yes, I got the black one, they have black and white. I know a lot of people were thinking, why didn't you stick with the white one? I mean, everything else on the Wii is white. I knew they got the new Wii, black Wii out. Everything's turning black now, you have your options. Well, I wanted something different. Everything's white, I figured why not mix it up and get a black one. So, yeah, it's black. Uh, right away, when I got the Classic Controller Pro, I was like, wow, they went to the glossy finish. I, I would have really liked them to go to the matte finish, because we all know with this glossy finish, you're going to get a bunch of fingerprints all over this thing. I mean, it looks nice. It's real shiny and everything, but it's just going to be a fingerprint magnet. Uh, just like your DS Lite when it first came out, it has that glossy finish. looks really cool, but attracts fingerprints, like, dramatically. But... Yeah, right away when I get the Classic Controller Pro, you notice the only thing different about it is they added the shoulders, and you got two Z buttons up top. And right here is the Classic Controller, and let's hold them side by side, and really, you can tell the difference. If you put them right next to each other, up, all they have is the, the two, the, for the handlebars right there. That's the only thing really different about it. And it really does feel a lot different when you hold it. Uh, my biggest complaint with this controller, I mean, let's go with the pros and cons. The pros, let's go with the pros first. Uh, the analog sticks are a lot more stiff and firm, which is a, a big plus, because we all know with the classic controller, the analog sticks are real loose, and they don't feel too right when you're playing a game. But they really upped it on this one, and they made the analog sticks a lot more stiff which was a big plus. I'm really glad they did that. But the shoulder buttons on the back I got a real problem with. I mean if you look right there, it's comfortable. If When you naturally hold this controller, you automatically put your two index fingers right over the big buttons on the back. And the problem with that is the big buttons on the back, they're like the Z buttons. They're not the R buttons, which is a real bummer because a lot of the games you you need the R and L buttons, not the Z buttons. Like when you're playing Mario Kart Wii, you're going to be holding the controller like this, and when you drift around corners, you're going to be constantly hitting the R button. But that's not the R button. The R button's up here, up top. So and, and you actually got to force your index finger up there. It feels really uncomfortable, and it really actually pissed me off when I looked down and saw that those were the Z buttons and not the R and L buttons. I'm like, what were they thinking? This controller would have been perfect if they just switched it around and put the Z buttons up here and the R button and L button right here. I mean, I don't know why they, what they were thinking. I don't know what Nintendo was thinking designing the controller like that. But that's my only real complaint with the controller, and it's a big one. I mean, like I said, if you're playing Mario Kart Wii and you're used to playing with this thing right here, you're actually probably going to just want to stick with this because it feels more comfortable when you're drifting around corners because you know you're always drifting around corners to get your your power boost and stuff. So yeah, you're going to want to stick with this if you're a classic controller user on Mario Kart Wii. But for games like Mario 64, like the virtual console, games like that, where you don't really need the R buttons too much, only for like camera angles, I mean, if this is a real big step above because like I said, the analog stick is a lot more firm. So I'm really glad, to, I mean, it feels really, really good. So I do highly recommend that for games like that, like Mario 64, really great. Uh, Super Mario World, another another good one to use this controller with because the R button don't do much except move the camera. So another good controller to use that for. Uh, and a lot of people are like, why, why wouldn't you just use this one for Super Mario World because it's the shape of a Super Nintendo controller kind of and it would feel more retro. Well, for some reason, something about this just doesn't feel right. And this one feels a lot better because the handles, it, it makes it, it's more comfortable around around your hands. So, and it's a lot bigger, so that that's why I prefer this over this. But for when it comes to Mario Kart Wii and games where you got to use constantly use the R button, I guess I'm just going to have to stick with the Classic Controller and not use my Classic Controller Pro. All in all, I'm satisfied with the purchase of this because... For, you know, like I said, games like Mario 64 and other games like that, it is nice to use it and it, it changes up the pace a little bit. Uh, one more thing before I end this video, 
This controller does remind me of a controller, and I'll tell you what that is. And that controller would be PlayStation 2. Yeah. Look at them side by side. They got both got the handles. They both got the analog sticks. I mean, check that out. And what's really, really going to flip some shit, you turn them to the side, and literally they got the shoulder buttons. I mean, it's pretty close. Like, I mean, pretty, pretty close. So yeah, they kind of, kind of stole PlayStation 2 controller idea a little bit, I, I think. But, I mean, play. We all know PlayStation 2 controller is a great controller, so why not, you know, steal that? But yeah, big complaint about the R and L buttons not being where they should be. I mean, they put them up top when they should have been down here. Really, really, really big, big bummer there. So. And if you don't know what I mean, once you buy this, if you do plan on buying it, I do recommend it unless you only play like Mario Kart Wii. Like, if that's the only game you play, yeah, stick with the classic controller. But yeah, if you're a collector like me and you just have to have it anyways, go ahead and pick it up and you'll see what I mean about your index fingers not feeling too right. But that's pretty much all for me right now, guys. just want to give you a little comparison between the classic controller Pro and the classic controller. Uh, one more big noticeable difference that I noticed, you would think with the handles and stuff and how bigger the controller is, it'd be heavier than this one. That's not the case. This controller is actually lighter than this one. And it doesn't really affect your gameplay too much. It feels a little weird at first because you expect it to be a little bit heavier, but it's not. But that's pretty much all for me right now, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video for all you guys interested in purchasing the Classic Controller Pro. If you don't have it already, because I know a lot of people have it because it came packaged with Monster Hunter Tribe, you got the bundle deal, but pretty much all for me right now guys and there'll be more to come shortly guys thanks again